Salve de omnes. My name is Darius, and this is the world that was. Today, I'll be making a very sweet dessert recorded by Apicius. The simple pear patina, which is kind of like a baked sponge in terms of texture. The original recipe calls for some ingredients that are very difficult to get a hold of today. So, I've substituted some more modern approximations, which work just as well here. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin with, we need to prepare our pears. Do this by pouring most of a bottle of wine into a large pot, which is large enough to accommodate your pears. You can also use water if you're not keen on using alcohol here. Place all of this over a high heat and bring it to a simmer. When it's simmering steadily, carefully place your pears into the liquid before pouring a couple of tablespoons worth of honey over all of this. Make sure the liquid covers the pears even when they're touching the bottom of the pot. Return everything to the heat and let the pears poach partially for about five minutes, or until a knife, when inserted into the center of a pear, comes out very easily. Drain your cooked pears and let them cool to room temperature before you deal with them. Technically, the poaching liquid doesn't get used later on, but as it is, it's perfectly drinkable. It's a very sweet and mildly pear-tasting wine. When your pears have cooled, divide each one into pairs of pears using a sharp knife. Then carefully cut the tough, fiber-filled core of the fruit out. The skin of these should be practically falling off, so remove them. Place the soft fruit into a large bowl, and on top of this, toss a tablespoon's worth of ground cumin, along with a few twists of freshly ground black pepper. On top of this, add yet another squeeze of honey, and a little splash of olive oil. Also, pour in a half cup's worth of sweet wine into this. I actually used a bit of the poaching liquid because it was very sweet, but passum, or a modern raisin wine, is used in the original recipe. But really, any sweet wine would be suitable here. Mix all of this together with a mortar and pestle, or a fork if you're not from antiquity, until it's just about combined. When it's fully mixed, crack four eggs into the bowl and mix everything together until there's no more streaks of egg visible. When your mixture is done, go lightly oil a baking dish. In antiquity, a terracotta pot would have been used, but an oven-proof baking dish works well today. Don't over-oil the inside too much. Gently pour in your pear mixture and place the whole thing into the center of an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to an hour, or until a skewer inserted into the center of your patina comes out clean. Let all of this cool to room temperature before digging in. Don't worry if it deflates a little bit, this is to be expected and is completely fine. It won't affect the texture too much. The finished dish is very sweet, with only a very slight hint of pear, despite being made up predominantly of pear. Although it seems a little plain tasting, it pairs fantastically well with hard, salty cheeses and sharp tasting dishes, such as olives soaked in vinegar. As such, it's very unlikely that this was eaten alone as a dessert. More likely, it was a companion dish intended to be a complementary flavour to others. Though this use of it isn't explicitly stated in Apicius' original recipe, it's very clear today that this is how it may have been prepared in antiquity. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at the world that was. If you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.